Python's high level of readability makes it a popular choice for beginners, and the best Python web scraping libraries and tools make it easy to scrape any website. Python is therefore a great choice for this purpose. Data scraping techniques used to collect data from websites is known as web scraping. The term web scraping refers to the process of completing automated tasks on the web with the assistance of web scraping software. For web scraping to be successful, developers must first create web crawlers, which can take the form of either web applications or scripts. Developers can incorporate them into virtually any powerful programming language in order to scrape data from the web in an effective manner. Python's programming language comes into play now that we've reached this point. Because it includes native libraries that have been designed specifically for web scraping, Python is an excellent choice for programmers who wish to create web scrapers. The Python libraries include a variety of tools and services that can be utilized for a wide range of tasks. Some examples of these are NumPy, Maplitlib, and Pandas. As a result, it is suitable for web scraping, after which the retrieved web data can be subjected to further manipulation. The following is a list of the top 7 Python web scraping libraries and tools in 2023. Zenrose. The Zenrose API is a web scraping library written in Python that can circumvent some of the most common problems associated with web scraping, such as anti-bots and captchas. There is a selection of features available, including rotating and premium proxies, headless browsers, geotargeting, antibot, and more. The learning curve for Zenrose is low. Captchas and antibots are no match for it. It can easily circumvent them. It is able to scrape pages that have been rendered with JavaScript. Additionally, it is compatible with a variety of other libraries. Request Library When it comes to managing HTTP requests in Python, Request is by far the most widely used library. The software is exactly what it claims to be, HTTP for Humans TM. A wide variety of HTTP requests, including GET, POST, PATCH, and DELETE, are supported. You can also modify the request headers and responses to your liking. Because other Python frameworks don't include inbuilt support for handling HTTP requests, the term request is typically associated with beautiful soup when discussing web scraping. LXML. The request library served as the source for this library's most recent update. The inability of the request library to parse HTML is mitigated by the presence of the LXML library. The LXML library has the capability to extract large amounts of data very quickly while keeping a high performance and efficiency level throughout the process. When it comes to efficiently removing data from HTML, the method that combines requests and LXML is the clear winner. Beautiful Soup. Beautiful Soup is likely the most popular library for web scraping tools written in Python because it is simpler to use for both novices and seasoned programmers alike. The fact that you won't have to worry about having poor HTML is the primary advantage of utilizing Beautiful Soup. In many web scraping tools, Beautiful Soup and Request are combined into a single operation. One of the drawbacks is that it is considerably slower than LXML. The LXML parser should be used in conjunction with Beautiful Soup for optimal results. Pip install Beautiful Soup is the Python command that will install the Beautiful Soup package. Selenium. Selenium is a scraping library for Python that can get dynamic web content. With this library, you can simulate dynamic website actions like clicking buttons, filling out forms, and more. It can scrape pages that change over time. Selenium is slow, which is not a good thing. It doesn't know how to get status codes. Data Streamer. A data streamer is the most efficient tool to use when scraping a significant quantity of public data from the websites of social media platforms. Through the use of a single API, Data Streamer makes it possible to integrate unstructured data. Through the utilization of Data Streamer, it contributes to the feeding of the data pipeline with over 56,000 individual pieces of content every second. Proxy Server. Web scraping requires the use of proxies, which are not tools that are built into Python. Because some websites do not permit you to extract data from their web pages, web scraping is an activity that must be carried out with extreme caution, as was mentioned earlier. If you continue to act in this manner, it is highly likely that your local IP address will be blocked. In order to prevent this from happening, you can make yourself anonymous on the internet by using a proxy service.